I don't want anyone turning up to my farm now uh, unannounced. Mate, for starters, you got most places like a phone call in advance of knowing your arrival. And obviously, if you don't come clean, you may as well forget about it. Quite easy, Todd. Number one, follow the rules. Number two, come clean. Number three, leave clean. The Panama TR4 is, is, you know, it's the top of the list for, for um, the banana industry um, as far as threats go. Um, we can, we've seen what it's done overseas, decimated you know, crops and uh, banana crops and, and uh, farming areas. The movement of this disease is, you know, soil and water. Um, you know, if your ute has been, you know, on a road anywhere, it's going to be coming in, coming into contact with lots of other vehicles that have been in lots of other places. So, the risk of, you know, disease being on a vehicle that's been outside our farm is, you know, is quite high. What people don't realise, nobody knows where this disease is. It, it, it could be in any dirt, from any place. So we all need to do our best and, and try to keep clean. Simple as that. You see a vehicle that rocks up completely covered in dirt or just neglected. Like when the person obviously is showing you signs of not caring. You know, you've got to make the choice to, and to trust your workers to make the choice if you're not around to send them away. The way I look at it, our farm is clean. We're free of Panama TR4 currently. So anything outside our farm, I consider to be dirty. You might be driving around this farm today, then go to another one tomorrow and not knowing that, you know, bits and pieces of mud or whatever's fallen off of you, and it's as simple as that. Dirty vehicles are a big risk to the biosecurity on farms. So it's important they get a regular wash down. And it's important we know how to do it. So let's find out how. You need to have a really good look at this vehicle, pick out where the dirt is, pay attention to those little harbourage points, those bits that you don't think about, you know, under the vehicle, around the bull bar, around the tyre guards, all of those kinds of places. Gross contamination is the large amounts of soil, debris, leaf material that you can actually see present on the vehicle. We're not talking about a layer of dust, we're talking about chunks of mud, things like that. So you start scraping those off, you know, so they're falling onto the ground. They're contained within that wash down facility. They're gonna find their ways into the drain and go back into the contaminated areas. Often you'll find sometimes caught in the radiator or the grill, there'll be some grass, grass seeds, things like that. High pressure air is good for that. So, you know, get your air compressor in there, blow those seeds out get rid of anything that, that's hanging about in there that shouldn't be there. Give the inside of the vehicle a look over and make sure that it isn't you know, filthy inside. Often you'll find dirt on your boots. Where does that land? On your floor mats. So what you want to be doing is taking the floor mats out and including that in your wash down process. Start just by washing it with a, a detergent and water. Start from the top, work your way down. So give it a good scrub, Rinse off your detergent and water, and from there, apply your disinfectant. It's almost like having your car detailed, isn't it? It is, with a disinfectant applied at the end. So with the, the disinfectant, you apply that to the underside of the vehicle, the wheel arches, the wheels, uh, any places that have had gross contamination, you apply that disinfectant. If you visit the APVMA site, that'll give you a list of disinfectants that are approved for use against Panama Disease Tropical Race 4. You also need to remember, Todd, always use them in accordance with either the label or the permit and you're good to go. Make sure you record who cleaned the vehicle, uh, the time and place and the disinfectant that was used on the vehicle. Because quite often there's more than one person using the car, right? They're using the vehicle. That's correct. So you need to make sure that there's always a record that the vehicle has been washed down before you take it to another place. This is a decontamination guide from Biosecurity Queensland. Contains a lot of handy hints, checklists, things like that. It's good to keep a copy in the car. If you Google Biosecurity Queensland decontamination guide, you'll find it. So the rule is pretty simple, keep your vehicles clean for our banana farms. You use a proper wash down facility, wash from the top to the bottom. 
Don't forget the wheels, the engine, and underneath the car. Also, clean it out from the inside. Any tools you've used, make sure you clean those. And you're good to go once you've done the disinfectant. Don't forget this cheat sheet. You can download it from Biosecurity Queensland. Keeping your vehicle clean on a regular basis makes this whole process much easier and quicker to manage. So if you want to go one step further and build your own washdown facility, go for gold and download the washdown designs to combat Panama Disease Tropical Race 4. Just Google Washdown Designs Panama. So we've got the all clear from the boss lady. We are clean and good to go. If you're driving onto a banana farm, make sure you follow the farm rules. Come clean and leave clean. Biosecurity, it's everyone's responsibility. Get in the zone. See our other videos at panamatr4protect.com.au. For further advice, contact Biosecurity Queensland on 132523 or the Australian Banana Growers Council on 07 3278 4786.